Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this pretty busy Tuesday, April 10th and headlines a uh, strong storm is going to approach the area. We've got a couple of weak waves until then. May see some showers and thunderstorms as we get into Wednesday night. Today will be the beginning of the warming trend with highs in the 40s. And then once that storm gets closer, if you're north of that warm front, you're going to have some pretty nasty cold wind driven rain. You're going to feel cheated out of a pretty nice warm air mass. To the south of it, however, temperatures could climb into the 60s by Friday. I think we'll be in the 50s on Thursday in most areas, at least low 50s, possibly a little warmer. Friday and Saturday, again, south of the warm front, some pretty nice toasty uh, air with a uh, good chance of thunderstorms. And as we get closer to the uh, frontal system, there could be some interesting weather, and we'll tell you about that. Right now, the 14 station average that I'm preliminarily putting out, I'll issue my final forecast tomorrow afternoon, 1.6 to 2 inches of rainfall expected to be the average when you consider all 14 weather stations from Thursday until Monday. And again, some areas could see well over 2.5 inches of rain, maybe even 3 inches of rain plus. Again, that big storm will bring some warmer air in, but it will be short-lived as we expect colder air by next week. In fact, by Saturday, as that front moves through, we could see maybe a switch over to some snow in some parts of the area. So yesterday we had a high of 38, a normal low of 30. You can see we're normally up into the low 50 now, and we'll continue to see these temperatures rise about a degree or so each day. And again, as far as uh, April so far, 15.4 degrees below normal for one third of the month that's passed so far. Yesterday we had a trace of snow, 46.7 inches so far for the year. And if we look at uh, this month compared to last month, uh, March we had an average temperature of 33 degrees. That was the mean temperature. And this month through the first 10 days, we're actually colder than March. And that's not uh, the way that's supposed to work out. If we look at temperatures across the area this morning, uh, temperatures mainly in the mid to upper 20s to around 30. Most areas, again, no way go our cold spot down by the van, down by the river at 20 degrees. Very cold there. And if we look at the satellite view this morning, you can see our next weather maker dropping out of the northwest. That's going to bring us a chance of some showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms. Again, especially for tomorrow night, not a lot of rain with this, maybe a half inch total as we get into Wednesday, but or uh, into Thursday. And then the main system will come out of the uh, plains and move towards the Great Lakes. The warm front will try to get into lower Michigan. And again, that's going to be the boundary line between some very warm air and some uh, pretty chilly air across the north. This morning on radar, really the only returns are some light returns coming into Santa Lac County. Again, not a whole lot going on across the Great Lakes. As far as the forecast map for this morning, big high pressure system is going to be moving to the east, and that's going to eventually allow a little bit warmer flow coming in out of the west and southwest as we're in more of the zonal pattern. And again, this is our next system that's going to be moving towards the area. It could bring some showers and thunderstorms. The big system is now coming into the Pacific here. It's actually offshore, but uh, when that comes onshore, we should have a much better idea of what goes on Friday, Saturday with that warm front and who gets uh, how much precipitation as well. We'll be tracking uh, the forecast. Again, my forecast, 1.62 inches preliminary. Again, I'll issue that final forecast tomorrow afternoon, and then you can track my forecast uh, results here on this page. I'll update several times uh, during the, when we're getting precipitation. As far as the uh, next slide, again, it's going to be a huge contrast of where that warm front sets up. You can see temperatures will be in the mid to upper uh, 60s by the GFS. Meanwhile, just about 50 miles north, temperatures will be a good 30 degrees colder, only in the 30s. And again, you get a little farther north and there may be uh, more in the way of wintry precipitation up there, especially for late Friday into Saturday. And again, this dashed uh, line, quite often we have to watch for the chance of a spin-up tornado, and that's not out of the question. Uh, we'll see as we get closer whether or not that's uh, really much of a chance. But anytime you get these springtime systems with the warm air trying to press and the cold air trying to sink south, again, we can have some pretty uh, interesting weather in that area. Right now, this is uh, really problematical as far as to where it's going to set up. But wherever that warm front does set up uh, near that boundary line, you could have some interesting weather. As far as how much rainfall, well, the WPC just drenches a lot of the area with over two inches of rain. Not sure we're going to get quite that much, but certainly locally we could get a very heavy rainfall across the area, especially with that slow moving system and the boundary looks like it's going to be draped somewhere over southern lower Michigan at this time. As far as the GFS over the next 10 days, again, 
many uh, huge amounts of precipitation expected across the Great Lakes here over the next 10 days. As far as snow, well, I said it's going to get colder next week, and the GFS is trying to print out a half a foot of snow across some parts of mid-Michigan. Again, whether or not we get uh, any snow on the ground or not, which we've seemed to gotten here quite a bit lately, the big idea is when you see this forecasting snow, that tells you we're at least going to be cold, even if we don't get the snow. This is not a warm pattern by any means. As far as the forecast goes today, our warming trend continues getting up into the 40s, maybe a little fog in some areas this morning, highs in the low 50s tomorrow. And again, really dependent on where you're at. You can see overall temperatures averaging around the uh, mid to upper 50s uh, for Thursday, Friday, and even possibly even early Saturday before they fall. But again, south of the front, you'll see temperatures in the 60s, north of the front, maybe only in the 40s or even 30s. And again, chance of thunderstorms, especially for Friday night into Saturday morning. And again, a chance of a few thunderstorms possibly tomorrow night as well. As far as weather watch, it doesn't get much cleaner than this, but we're going to see it turn a little bit more nasty here as we get towards the end of the week across much of the Great Lakes. There could be some pretty uh, hefty snows from Minnesota, Wisconsin, into the UP. I expect you're going to get hammered with quite a bit of snow here over the next 10 days. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day and 73s to all.